Hey guys, this is the last video in my Art Fundamentals tutorial series. To see the rest, be sure to check out the playlist linked in the description below. Today's video is about texture. Texture for 2D artists is something that is implied. It can give an idea of the way that something would feel or what it would be made out of. Using a mixture of values, lines, and forms, the illusion of texture can be created. 3D art is the actual physical texture, though for this tutorial I'll mostly be discussing 2D textures. Creating texture can be as easy as drawing a line. Look at this line and think about what you're seeing. It's a straight, horizontal line, but how does it feel? What is it implying? It's flat and smooth. Without any other context or work done, we've already created a texture. How about this line? It's more bumpy and jagged, perhaps sharp. Even with simple shapes, we can create simple textures. Compare this circle to the one next to it. One looks more smooth and round, whereas the other one looks hairy and soft. If we add a bit of value making these forms, we could really emphasize the feeling they give off. Rough textures are ones that reflect light unevenly, given their uneven planes. Smooth textures reflect light in a more even way, as the light can pass over the object in one clean motion. Take the two lines from the beginning. If light was heading from the left to the right on the flat one, it wouldn't have any obstacles to deal with, unlike the jagged one, where the hills and valleys create an uneven spread of the light particles. Matte surfaces reflect small amounts of light and are usually low contrast. The differences between the lightest point and the darkest point are less dramatic. The values are more smooth in their transitions. Glossy surfaces are the opposite. They reflect a lot of light and are usually high contrast. The differences between the lightest and the darkest points are often very dramatic. Simulated texture is the visual representation of what the texture is supposed to be realistically. This is where the illusion plays a part into having the audience believe that there is something physically there that they can feel. Invented texture is texture that the artists themselves create and is typically more abstract. The basis is not realism and it is not meant as a tool to appear realistic to the touch. They can often be random, uniform, or somewhere in between. What sort of textures do you see in the world around you? Try emulating them as best you can using as many various methods as possible. Start with just the lines. Work your way up to colors. Be sure to try as many different looking textures as possible. Grass and fur are not exactly the same, but how are they different? A tennis ball and a golf ball are both balls, but their textures are vastly opposite. Crumble up some paper or plastic bag. What does it look like? Draw it out. Use a mix of lines, shapes, and values. Have fun with crazy lighting setups. Hopefully this tutorial series has been helpful for you. Feel free to share with me what creations you've made from this series in the comments below and keep drawing. Thanks for watching. Bye.